Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Michelle and I'm a flight attendant for a major US airline based in San Francisco, California. I vlog about my trips and I do my best to take you guys with me and today we have an airport standby assignment. If you know me, you know that I really don't like airport standby or airport alert. I really don't like it at all, yet I often get it and I often do it to myself and preference it because I also don't like being on call throughout the night and scared that I'm going to get a phone call. <laughs> but we have a standby assignment at 1210. It is almost um, 11 right now and I am just about ready. I just have to put on my uniform and head out the door. Um, makeup is done, lunchbox is packed, suitcase is packed. We are almost ready to go. Um, and if you don't know what airport standby is, it is where we sit at the airport for four hours and we are used for any last minute needs. It could be going to Sydney, Australia, or it could be going to Syracuse, New York. Um, the options are endless or sometimes you just go home. Um, that's kind of what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping that I'll either just go home, don't get used, or maybe get like an easy two day or something. But... I don't really have a choice. We just go and we hope for the best. So I will see you guys at the airport. Okay, we have made it to the SFO employee lot. It is 11.28, my standby starts at 12:10, so I will head in soon. Um, I'm feeling a little tired today. I don't know why. I feel like I got a lot of sleep. Yeah, I'm tired, so I think we'll drink some coffee when we get in there. So I got called for a pre-board to Vancouver. I don't think I'm going though. The crew is landing before we should start boarding. So I didn't even have to pre-board. Um, the original crew got there before it was even time for boarding. So I'm back to the crew room I go. And right when we got down to the crew room, we got a trip. We are going to Seattle now. I think we're on an Airbus and I'm the fourth on an Airbus. And I think I pick up a trip in Seattle. Welcome to Seattle. So let me catch you up. <laughs> so I start standby at 12 10 p.m. I get a call around 2 p.m. They say we need you to pre-board a Vancouver flight. I said okay what time would you like me to head up and she said now and I said oh the flight doesn't depart until 4 15 and she was like oh man I thought it was already through there like you're fine just be up there by 3 15. So I'm like okay so I get up there around 3 p.m. I get up there early and I don't even end up pre-boarding it because the crew comes in on time and they, the original crew, and they take over the pre-board. So I go back to the crew room. I only have about 30, 40 minutes left to stand by at this point. So I think I'm good. There's nothing in open time. Everything seems on time. I think I'm good. So I'm in the crew room just relaxing and I get a call from scheduling and they say, hi, Michelle, we have a trip for you. And I'm like, where did this come from? <laughs> and she's like, oh yeah, it's a three day trip and um, we are going to Seattle. So I said, okay. I said, what time should I be up there? And she said, your check-in was 13 minutes ago. So I'm like, okay. So then I run up there and I'm on an Airbus that's usually staffed with three people. I was the fourth on this Airbus. And they basically just did this so I can get up to Seattle to start a trip tomorrow. I think that 
somebody I'm taking over somebody's trip either they called out sick or they had an emergency job or something like that so they um, ended their trip early and I'm taking over the remainder of it and I am um, working a Houston trip I believe with a Houston based crew and that is tomorrow so the crew I came up to Seattle with they're just turning right back around to San Francisco and they're done and then um, I start with a new crew tomorrow and work a long day with them tomorrow um, and the total of the ship is three days and I think I'm with a different type of crew every single day which is kind of fun kind of exciting but I did want to talk about my trip up here. I had such a good flight. Um, I was working with a really senior flight attendant. And by senior, it's basically somebody who has been with this company and been flying for a very long time. And that's what we call senior mamas, senior papas, and I'm junior because I've only been flying for four and a half years. This guy has been flying for 38 years and he had probably like the best attitude and outlook on this job and life of anyone I've ever flown with. Um, he was so positive, so kind, and really tried to make everybody feel so special, like all the passengers. And it really inspired me and like made me realize, you know, number one, like I'm so blessed to have this job. We work an amazing job where I get to meet people every single day and I get to go cool places and get paid for it. Like it's such a blessing to have this job and I never want to lose sight of that. And like him being 38 years in and still saying like, oh, he feels so lucky to have this job. Like it's just inspiring. Okay, so we have a closet we have the bathroom i like that tile in the shower i'm gonna put my suitcase up there two beds we love to see it also i know i've said this before but i'll say it again we love hardwood floor in our hotel rooms we love it Ooh, refrigerator i think i should make sure that works and then our view is actually the hotel so this hotel is kind of shaped like a, a cylinder, I guess. Like it's like a big circle. And then we have the gym right down there. Ta -da. So I'm gonna make sure I close this up so nobody sees me change. Not today. Okay, I'm gonna have a boring night, a boring layover in, short minimum rest layovers. They gotta happen. Good night. Good morning. It is day two of three, and today is the longest day of this whole trip. Um, it is a pretty long day. It's almost a 13 hour duty day. We are working from Seattle to Houston, which is blocked at, I think, like 420. And then we are doing a Fort Lauderdale turn out of Houston, which is blocked, I think, around two and a half, two hours each. So it is almost 10 hours of flying for the day. So it's a pretty high time day, um, but we have no sit time, which is really good. Um, we have only about like an hour um, in between each flight, which really is not any sit time at all because that includes deplaning and boarding. So we're going to be jumping flight to flight. Um, and we are on the Airbus A320 this whole day, um, and I am back galley. And yeah, it will be a long one, but it will be a good one. Um, we lay over tonight um, in Houston, and um, it is a very short layover. Once again, won't do anything, sorry. I know it's boring, but this is the life of a flight attendant. Sometimes you're in Tel Aviv at the beach, Sometimes you stay at airport hotels and don't do anything on your layover, but um, less about balance. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna finish getting ready and I will talk to you later.
Hello everyone, we are done with day two of three. Today was a long day and it was definitely the longest day of this trip. Um, we worked SFO, no not SFO, we worked Seattle, um, Houston, which was about a four hour flight and then we did a Fort Lauderdale turn in each of those. Um, one was two hours, one was two hours and 20 minutes. So it was a long day of flying, um, but it was pretty good. My, um, I feel like it went from like hardest to hard, a little easier to like the easiest. So that was really nice to end it off on like a really easy chill crowd. Um, Cause yeah, coming back our load was lighter and um, the passengers were just super chill, didn't really want anything. Um, it is 9.46 p.m. Houston time. So that is 7.46 p.m. SFO time. And my, I actually don't really know what time my check-in is tomorrow. Let me find out. 8.40 a.m. Um, and we are staying very close to the airport. I can walk to the airport from this hotel, which is amazing. I love that. If you know me, you know I love any hotel I can walk to. Um, and so it won't take me very long to get there. Um, but I probably will plan on getting there a little bit earlier than 8.40. But that means I'll probably leave my hotel around 8 a.m. around. Um, but yeah, I don't have that much time here. I think my layover is like 11 hours and 30 minutes or something like that in total. Um, but I did need to go buy food and I went on like a little adventure in the airport because I was looking for a restaurant that was open and there was nothing open in the restaurant. It all closed at nine. So I was like, there's no food. So then I just came back to the hotel and I ordered a salad from the restaurant downstairs. Um, because I got this trip off airport standby, I didn't really have that much food packed because what usually happens on airport standby is I'll bring a bunch of food and then either A, I will go somewhere where I have to go through customs and I waste it, or B, I usually just work like a two day trip or something and I wasn't expecting to work like a whole three day. And especially like today, we didn't really have time to get food anywhere because we were like, go, go, go. So it's not very like me to like get food at a um, airport restaurant or a hotel restaurant, but I honestly didn't have any choice because we're not close by any restaurants. Everything in the airport was closed and I ate all my food because I didn't pack that much. But yeah. I'm excited to eat my salad. I'm going to shower and get everything ready first um, in my room for tomorrow. And then I will just relax for the night because yeah, we don't have very long and we want to enjoy it while we can. But um, overall, I think today was really great. Um, I had a really cool crew on my Fort Lauderdale turn, which I loved. And yeah, I'm just thankful for this trip. It's been a really good one so far. so foggy out there hey guys so it's 7 35 and i've done my makeup got partly ready um i am going to eat some breakfast i packed myself a bagel the last of my food and um then i'm gonna get change i do have some time before i have to leave still so i'm just gonna continue waking up because i was so tired i slept so well like deep sleep this bed so comfortable so gotta wake myself up it is 7 59 i'm going to head down my check-in is 8 40 a.m so i am probably gonna get there early my scarf is scarf is bugging me um i'm probably gonna get there early um but if i am early enough and the lines are short i think i'll get a coffee I got my coffee, pumpkin cream cold brew. We are working the 777 back to SFO. It is the 777-200, um, and it's a configuration that I'm not too fond of. Um, I've flown it a small handful of times, and it's nobody's favorite. Let me just say that. The back is huge. Like, 
there are I think 330 people around that in economy and it's just it's a lot I'm not gonna lie um, but I should be I think I'm left beverage aisle I'm pretty sure um, and I'm in charge of the mid galley setup and uh, yeah it's a it's a big point but it, it's only one flight on it. We are only working um, Houston SFO, which should be about four hours or maybe like 3.30 if we're lucky. Um, and I did decide to personal drop tomorrow. So I get home today and I'm still on call for one more day. Um, and I just really don't want to turn and I really wanted to go home today. So I put in for a personal drop if I get it, I'll go home today. If not, no worries, and I'll go back to my place in the bay. And um, yeah, hopefully we just won't get it <laughs> But I'll let you know if I get it. I should know by the time I land. I keep going back and forth if I should like keep it in or take it out, keep it in or take it out. Because as flight attendants, we can personal drop days um, or trips if it is like if we don't want to really work them and they can approve them based on operational need. So sometimes they approve a bunch and sometimes they approve none. It really just depends. Um, but you do lose money out of your reserve guarantee if you drop a reserve day. So that's what I would be doing. So I was just trying to figure out if it was worth it or not, but I think I really want to go home. So I think it's worth it. place in the bay I don't know if you could tell but that means two things number one it means that I did not get my personal drop for tomorrow which is fine I was trying to get a drop for tomorrow's reserve day so I could commute home today didn't get it awarded that's okay it was decided for me um, now we just have to hope I don't get a turn for tomorrow and then the second thing it it means obviously is I'm done with my trip this trip was awesome um, I feel like it showcased the more like mundane regular day in the life of a flight attendant like I don't always have really crazy layovers I don't even have really long layovers where I go out and do much like these layovers were just two short 11 hour minimum rest domestic kind of layovers and that's what the life looks like sometimes but I honestly had a really good trip. I really enjoyed the people that I worked with and nothing was like too hard or too crazy, no delays. Um, everything was on time. So I'm really thankful for that. Um, and yeah, today I had a really good crew on just this little um, San Francisco, Houston, San Francisco flight. And it was like Chicago people, Houston people and then me and they were all really awesome and I just love ending off the trip with like a good last flight it's always like it makes me really happy but yeah tomorrow we are still on call for one day we really don't want to turn um I am not I'm not a fan of turns and I really want to commute home tomorrow uh so fingers crossed that that happens but I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was not the most exciting, but I still am very grateful for you watching and joining in on the adventure. Talk to you in the next one.